Have you heard of Bell's Palsy? I have, because I had it. Let me tell you what happened. This is Tom Lara, and I'm just sharing. It was 2006. I woke up one morning and had a shower, and it was while I was having my shower that I started to feel that there was something wrong. Water was getting into my eye and into my mouth. So as soon as I finished my shower, I looked at myself in the mirror, and to my shock horror, the right side of my face had dropped. I even tried to brush my teeth but couldn't gargle the water. It just went everywhere. So I started to panic and wonder if I was having a heart attack. So we called this doctor friend and asked him on the phone if this was a symptom of a heart attack. And after he made me do some self-tests to check if I was having a heart attack, he said this to me, I don't think you're having a heart attack. I think you have Bell's palsy. It was the first time I've heard of Bell's palsy. So it got me worried, especially because of how my face looked like. Here's a, a photo of someone, a man who has Bell's palsy. So you could just imagine my shock and my horror if this was how I would look like long term. Let me give you some information about Bell's palsy that I learned when I contracted this disease. You see, Bell's palsy is a form of temporary facial paralysis or a weakness on one side of the face. It results from a dysfunction of the cranial nerves or the facial nerves, as they call it which directs the muscles on the one side of the face. It also affects the muscles that control your eye blinking and closing and your facial expressions like smiling. It also affects the facial nerve that carries nerve impulses to the tear glands, the saliva glands, and the muscles of a small bone in the middle of your ear. And the facial nerve also transmits taste and sensations from the tongue. So you could just imagine how it was like. I could not smile. I could not close my eyes. I could not, or I would constantly have tears in my eyes. I could not close my mouth properly. And I lost taste on one side of my mouth. So why am I sharing this with you? Because in life, we will experience changes. Looking at the mirror that morning, Bell's palsy definitely changed how I look. And it taught me to appreciate some very important things that I can, that, things that I never, never really put so much importance on. Things that I can do before I had Bell's palsy. And here are three things, three things that in particular that was very important that I couldn't do anymore. The first one is a smile. I could not smile like I used to because only half of my face would smile. The second thing that I couldn't do was wink an eye. The wink of an eye. I couldn't wink my right eye. In fact, I found it difficult to close that right eye. And so at night, I would get my wife to tape it close. And the third thing that I I wasn't able to do was to speak to people. Speaking to people, I could not speak properly because only half of my mouth was moving. And I kept drooling as well every time I tried to speak. So you could just imagine how embarrassing that was. It was difficult, in fact, to preach. Change. We don't like change. We prefer not to change. We prefer to stay with that status quo rather than rock the boat, isn't it? And yet, there are changes that life will impose on us. Changes that we have to accept whether we like it or not. And what's really important when change happens is to learn how to handle change. How to handle change. So let me give you four points on how to handle change. The first one is this. Praise God for the change. Praise God for the change. Even if you don't like it, praise God for it. 
Because as Romans 8.28 says, we know that in everything God works for the good of those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. Do you love Him? Then rest assured that all things will turn out all right. The second way to handle change is this. Discover the purpose of the change. When I had the Bell's palsy, I began to discover the value of small things that I have never really appreciated. Things like I said earlier, my smile, the wink of an eye, and the ability to speak, or even just, just being able to, 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 to have tears in your eyes and not have tears in your eyes. But not only that, during the time, you know what happened? I grew closer to God because I had time off from work and time off from ministry. So it allowed me to just bask in the Lord's presence and enjoy life. Something that I was missing at that point in my life because of the busyness of life. You see, ultimately God allows change to happen so we grow closer to Him. So don't be afraid of change. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says this, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. The third thing I learned or the third thing, way to deal with change is this. Accept the change. Accept the change. Stop fighting the change. Especially if it's something that comes with age. You know, I love to play basketball. And for the longest time, I could not accept the fact that I could not play basketball any longer. So I kept trying to play, but each time I found it more difficult to play. And it was the same when I had the Bell's palsy. I found it difficult to accept the fact that I could not do a lot of things till I got better. And I thought it was so long, like a, how, how long before I get better? Accept the change. And then the fourth, the fourth way to handle change is this. Trust God with the change. Trust God with the change. Things may change, remember this, but God never changes. God never changes. In Hebrews 13 verse 8, it says this, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a good God, yesterday, today, and forever. And not only that, he promised us in His Word that His plan for us is to prosper us and not to harm us. Remember that favorite verse of yours, Jeremiah 29, verse 11? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Hey, trust God because He knows everything. Everything from beginning to to the end of your life. I hope this has helped you and I hope it has spoken to your life. And if there are changes happening in your life, I hope you can apply all of those points that I shared with you. Let me pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I pray for every person who's watching this video right now. And I pray, dear Lord, that you would just help them to cope with change, to deal with change. And Lord, I pray that you would reveal the purpose of the change to us. Help us, Lord, to accept it. But most importantly, to trust you in everything that is happening. And Lord, I pray once again for their needs, for their deepest needs. May you provide for all of their needs. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching once again. And I hope... This has helped you and I hope that it will touch your heart and maybe you can share it with other people as well. So follow me on Facebook, please, and subscribe to me on YouTube. Thank you and God bless you and have a wonderful day.